Hey guys, welcome back to another tried and tested video. My name's Woody. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. For today's episode of Tried and Tested, we're looking at two Max Trax products. We've used Max Trax a lot. Now, I want to put out a quick disclaimer. This is not a comparison video. We're not comparing against other traction board brands that I've used. We're just looking at Max Trax and how I use them and how it's working for us. First, we'll look at the Max Trax Mark II. Now, if you're familiar with most things in the overlanding world, you're probably familiar with Max Trax. It's an iconic shape design and in the iconic safety orange, you probably won't miss them. Some of the standard features would be it's ramped at both ends, um, has lots of teeth, three handles which make on each side which makes it easy to carry. We carry our Max Trax on our vehicle using the Max Trax mounting pin set. This makes it so easy to get at, keeps it outside of the vehicle, especially after they've been used, they're quite dirty. They are ramped on both ends and if you flip it over, you use it as a shovel. That gives us the most versatility, you know, a lot of people when they're packing for an adventure, an expedition or an overlanding trip, they say each piece of gear should have more than one use. Well this has several. So we use these for recovery, so we're using these when we're bogged in loose surfaces, we're using these to make bridges and ramps when we're trying to get over ruts that we just don't have the clearance for. We can also use these at camp, so we actually use these a lot for leveling out our trailer. So when we're leveling out at a campsite for sleeping, it's easy to throw a set of max tracks on, drive up onto it, and then we can get the final adjustments with the stabilizer legs. They nest together neatly, so on the genuine max tracks mounting pin set, you can nest four max tracks together. They're extremely lightweight and they're very easy to use. We use these a lot in combination with other recovery techniques, so often if we're doing winching uh, over an obstacle, something we don't quite have the clearance for, we'll winch onto a set of max tracks which helps lift the vehicle out of whatever trouble it is and ultimately takes some strain off the winch. A couple of tips for using max tracks, it actually has it printed on the max tracks itself, no wheel spin. This is a special nylon blend and if you spin your wheels on this, it's going to create a lot of heat and it's going to wear down and melt those plastic tabs which you want your wheels to grip. So the method is to slowly turn your wheels until the vehicle gets onto the max tracks. From there, you can power on and get the momentum you need to get yourself out of trouble. These are great for getting yourself out of stuck, sandy or loose terrain situations. You use one side digging at the wheel so you get that nice ramped clearance and then you put the max tracks in there so it has a nice angle of grab. If you just put the max tracks in front of the wheel, the wheel's just going to be sort of licking at the end of the max track. It's not actually going to be getting onto it. So it's really important you do dig out the front of the wheel so that the wheel can actually get onto the ramp of the max tracks. Another max tracks product that we use is the max tracks trailer skid. So now that we're into an overland trailer, we need to think about more than just one vehicle recovery. The Max Trax trailer skid is designed to take the drawbar off the trailer. So there's two methods of it accepting the trailer. One is you lower the jockey wheel straight into the recess here, which is perfect for the wheel. And then it has a strap here to strap over the wheel to secure it to the jockey wheel. If you don't have a jockey wheel or if you're unable to deploy your jockey wheel, it also comes with a rubber insert which lays right here. This allows you to lay the drawbar straight onto the skid itself and then you can put the strap over the drawbar like that. From there, well, you can either use a tow rope, a snatch strap uh, or a winch. We actually performed a winch recovery on our trailer utilizing the Max Track skid. I'll leave the link for the video somewhere up there. It was really good. We were on an extremely soft river sandbar. We were able to unhitch the trailer recover the Jeep with Max Trax, get to more solid ground, and then winch the trailer up to that more solid ground. Trying to get the Jeep and trailer combination up onto that solid ground would have been an uphill struggle, quite literally, and it just made things a lot easier, quicker, and safer. Like all your recovery gear, it does need to be treated with a bit of respect. These are high quality products, and you can use them in a variety of ways. But just remember the few things to keep them safe. Especially with the Max Tracks, you need to make sure that you're not spinning your wheels on them. They're fine for making bridges out of and they can actually handle a bit more than what you think. But treat them with respect and they'll last you a long time. Thank you very much for watching. These are just a few products that we've tried and tested ourselves. 
and we wanted to give you a few ideas on how we're using them and how they could possibly work for you. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.